DC Comics reveals the identity of their black Batman. Black man. I think comics and movies are overestimating the selling power of black characters. There are three times as many Mexicans in America who would much prefer to see themselves represented in the media, and they are suspiciously absent from comics and films. So I don't know what's going on with, uh, with that. The black American population is only 13%, and if I had to guess, they're probably underrepresented as comic book fans, but that doesn't mean that racist incel man baby, obviously Trump supporters, are outraged. Comics isn't dead, but it's definitely winding down. The first issue of this will sell, but then it will rapidly drop off. Why would we be interested in seeing the story blackwashed? We know the story already, and we like what it was. It feels like virtue signaling pandering, because it is. I can tell you the story now. Black man will fight blonde guys who are robbing little old ladies and knocking over liquor stores. Then the blonde racist cops will show up and commit hate crimes. Then there will be a blonde neo-German group that sells crack to the inner city because that is how uh, developmentally disabled comics are these days. This comic won't sell, but ironically, 90% of the sales will be by white kids who are young and naive enough not to know that the people who make comics really, really hate them. I read the latest Amazing Spider-Man and Immortal Hulk. They were fine, but with comics, you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop, because it always does. There will always be a woke moment with an anti-Second Amendment message or something about an obvious uh, stand-in for Trump or how blonde men are evil or there'll be people in red hats. They always include some SJW cancer that destroys an otherwise good story. And I was arguing with a guy in a live stream about Immortal Hulk being garbage. I, I really don't like Al Ewing. I gave examples of issue 1 and 11 because they were literally about blonde, blue-eyed biker gangs. The guy said, you can't judge it by just two bad issues. But that was two bad issues out of 11. And they're up to 40 now, and they've got more bad issues, though none were as egregious as issues 1 and 11. And then I thought about it. What is my tolerance for this woke F blonde man narrative? Uh, pretty much zero. I don't, I don't need to read about it. Uh, they even had an issue with a trans character. I think that was in more than one issue. I don't need to read about trans characters in comics because I think all that stuff is just silly people mad at their dads or something. I don't hate them, but I think it's just attention-seeking nonsense. I don't need to read any LGBT stuff or diversity in stories. It doesn't interest me because I don't want to be lectured to or told how to think by a 50-year-old obese socialist. And I'm not alone. I represent millions of people who have no interest in the flavor du jour, in the politically politically correct cultural Marxist talking points. I see it and I say to myself, what is this developmentally disabled bundles of stickeries? Go back to the more neutral approach pre-1990. I read Sword Number 1. It's a great idea. Totally ruined by the anti-male attitude. They're building a cool wormhole space bridge. But this green, short-haired, titless lesbian mad at her dad is constantly degrading the men in the comic every chance she gets. There's another chick with the sides of her head shaved who is beating one man up while she corrects and puts another man in his place. Why do I want to read about angry, angry, breastless lesbians? I don't. Not at all. It's not funny or cute. It's trite, hackneyed, and overused. Women in comics should be beautiful and of a sunny disposition. These flat-chested, angry lesbians do exist in real life. I don't talk to them. I go out of my way to avoid them. Life is too short to talk to women with daddy issues. If I avoid them in real life, why would I want to read a story for pleasure with them in it? These stories are for a pleasant excursion into the imagination. I can go to any law office or veterinarian in America and find an angry lesbian. I avoid them in real life. I don't argue over much with rude people. I just vote with my feet and find new people to do business with. 
Well, you can't always get what you want. Except that in the realm of entertainment, we can. We're paying for this. There are other options. We're not forced to buy a black man and woke woman. Douglas Ernst, GDA, Mike Miller, Tenaple, Myers, EVS, they want to sell you stuff that is not degrading to you because they want cocaine and hookers, and those aren't free. Mainstream Comics wants to virtue signal for, I guess, potential movie deals. Oh, what's this? No, don't shoot my dad, because he's standing in front of the cop car. I'm so-and-so. Gee, sorry, buddy. Uh, Y'all look alike to me. Oh! Don't! Don't! He's saying you match the physical description, because you've got short hair, a beard, and a goatee. You match the physical description, and you look like the guy. That's not... Stop. Stop. I don't want to... Why would I... Why the fuck would I want to read this in a comic? I, I don't know what episode this is from, or who wrote this, but... I don't. That's it's just. I don't need to be lectured to. Oh, look, the bad white cop and the uh, female black cop who needs to put him in his place. Um, why would I want to pay four dollars for that? Are you insane? I don't want to pay four dollars for that. And then a uh, uh, purse puppy constantly affirming, affirming, uh, uh, too black, too strong, the power of the family, whatever. Uh, uh zero, zero interest. And most, most, um. I I don't see a whole lot of interest across the board by different groups being into this kind of thing. Not only will Tim Fox be the next black Batman in... Really, oh, you didn't capitalize that. Aren't you supposed to capitalize that now? Why would you capitalize a color? He'll also be Batman in an upcoming black and white anthology series from uh, 2021. All right, that looks good. Let's take a look at the comments. What a fantastic idea. How on earth did the Wizards at DC come up with the idea of replacing the main character with a black person? Groundbreaking, original, stunning, and yes, brave. My mind is blown. How can anyone ever top this? Wait, what if, stay with me here, what if they replaced other white male characters with women? Even better, POC women. This is truly revolutionary. The entertainment industry is reaching pandering levels never thought possible. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, the other side of the argument is this is an egregious injustice designed to destroy white people. Probably not. Just another alternative reality story, and they're all imaginary. Don't you get your panties in a bunch? Fair enough. Um, It doesn't matter. And people aren't outraged about this. People don't have their panties in a bunch because people don't care about comics as much anymore. The influence and the power of comics. What is, what is uh, diversity in comics change is named it? Comics matter? No, no, I don't think they do. Uh, I don't. No, this isn't. In the eighties, sure, they were huge. The nineties, even bigger. But comics matter now? No, absolutely not. Like they're they're vehicles to to fund Netflix shows and that kind of thing. Um. But in and of themselves, no, the stories don't matter anymore. Because they're written by people who don't want to write comics. They don't like comics. Uh, and you go, oh, why? We, they grew up reading comics. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure Heather Antes grew up reading, reading comics. Um, but they're, they're writing stuff that are so far removed from what they read as kids that it doesn't make sense. If you say you really like this, entertain, this, this vehicle for entertainment of telling stories, but you're writing something that is completely not in accord with... Uh, the bulk history of comics, though now comics have been bad for so long. It's not like it's not like there's two years of, of woke comics. It's more like there's twenty years of woke comics, kind of since two thousand or two thousand and one. But they do this stuff because they know they're gonna get a reaction on Twitter, and it's gonna be like, "Oh, we're gonna trigger the incels. We're gonna trigger the mad babies because they're all racist Nazis." <sighs> no, it just. If you, if you think you have an audience for a product, then fine, sell it. Knock yourself out. You probably don't. Um, this, this is 1989. So this is um, a family that had issues. They weren't purse puppies. They were, I mean, in 1989, yeah, they were a little purse puppy-ish. But not like it is compared to today. Let's take a look. Compared to this level of purse puppyhood. I just, this family, we have to do better. It's all right. This family is strong. Too black, too strong. 
But if we're going to do better, we have to be better. We have to be a family again. All of us. It's time. Okay, enough, 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 enough. It's just it's stupid. Stupid. Uh, compare that to the earlier image where you actually had, you actually were, cared about the characters because you saw that they were in real pain. And look, she's comforting him because he's, he's in real pain. He doesn't know what's going to happen to his kid going off to college, hanging out with the bad crowd. Um, and in the next, in the, the modern version, like there's no, there's no fear for, uh, there's no suspended belief. There's no, what I'm trying to say, there's no, you know, it's going to turn out all right for them. They're not going to have any close calls. They're just going to, they're going to, they're going to be, it's going to be like a wealthy black family in a wealthy white neighborhood where the worst they have to worry about is, um, a dumb <laughs> white cop and his his black partner who is always there to put him in his place. Like they have, no, these people have no problems. They're, they're dressed nice. They're in a nice town. This is, um, uh, there's, there's nothing to, to watch it for because there's no tension that needs to be resolved in the 1989 version. They're actually,